Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video, I want to show you how to find the derivative of a function using the power rule. So this is usually one of the first rules you learn when finding derivatives, and it's extremely powerful. So let me give you a quick intro on how this thing works. So the power rule is used in situations where you have x raised to a number power. So think of like x raised to the fifth or x raised to the fourth. And this power or and this rule works as long as that power is not equal to zero. Okay, because then it'd just be a constant and then you're taking the derivative of a constant. So the way this rule works is whatever power that is, you drop it out in front and then you reduce the power by one. So I'm gonna show you many different examples and you'll see that even though the notation is a little clunky, uh, this rule works out really nicely. So let's go ahead and jump into those examples and see exactly how this works. All right, so here's my first one, uh, f of x equals x to the fifth power. So that's exactly what I'm talking about. I have x raised to a number power. Simply take that power, drop it down immediately in front. So the derivative of f would equal 5x. Okay, now comes the other part of this. This will also have a power, but it's reduced by one, so five minus one is now four. So the derivative of this function, 5x to the fourth power. Just that simple. All right, now every once in a while, you'll come across a function that might have some additional coefficients out front. Now, if these are just numbers, uh, then feel free to move them. So that three will still be there and then apply the rule to the rest of it. So I'm gonna take the two, drop it right out front. So now I have three multiplied by two, there's my x, and now we reduce that power by one. So two minus one is one, or this is simply six x. So as you can see, really powerful rule, uh, and it works with all kinds of other powers. Let's check out some more examples and make this a little bit harder, okay? So in this one, you'll notice that I have four x cubed minus five x to the fourth. I'm gonna apply that power rule to the x cubed and to the x to the fourth. I can do this because they're being connected by plus or minus. You can use it in either one of those situations. All right, let's write out what we got. So f prime of x, so we're gonna drop down the three, put that right out front, drop down the four, bring that right out front. This will give me four times three times x minus five times four times x. And now I have to write in the new powers. So the three gets reduced by one, it's now a two. The four gets reduced by one, it's now a three. Okay, so now we just have a little bit more uh, cleaning up to do. And then this one's finished. So four times three would be a 12 x squared. Uh, five times four is a 20 x cubed. All right, so one thing that often gets lost with the power rule is as long as that power is a number that is not zero, uh, you can use it on it. And, and what I'm talking about is we're gonna use this for negative powers, we're gonna use this for fractional powers, and the rule's just gonna work out the same as before. So watch very closely in this last example and watch how the power rule plays into that. All right, so in this first one, uh, the three and the two are a lot like these coefficients out here. They're not gonna really have much of an effect and I'll simply bring the five down like I would normally. The four in the next little part also will come down normally, and since it's a negative, it's gonna switch that sign. And the one half, it'll do the same exact thing, come right out front. All right, so our derivative, f prime of x, I'll have three times five times x all over two. See, so I'll bring down my minus four x. I'll bring down the one half and now we have to go back and reduce all of those powers by one. So five minus one, four. Minus four, minus a one, minus five. And a one half minus one, negative one half. Always reduce it by one, whether it's negative or a fraction, doesn't matter. All right, now let's go ahead and clean this up and finish off the problem. So three times five is a 15. 
x to the fourth divided by two minus four x to the negative five and minus three halves x to the negative one half. So look for many situations where you can apply the power rule and simply drop that number right out front. Thank you for watching My Secret Math Tutor.